What's up, family? Peace and blessings. Peace and blessings. Mark the Messenger. We're back in another video. This one's going to be about seven signs you're born again. And before I start, because being born again, it's not just saying that you love God out of your mouth. It's not just going to conjugating, fellowshipping with other believers. Being born again all stems down to you loving God, your love for God. And uh, 1 John chapter 5, verse 3 says, For this is the love of God that we keep his commandments, and his commandments are not grievous. Okay, so these are the seven signs. You are born again. I was supposed to make this video a long time ago, but hey, we're back. So the first one is, this is the most important one. This is the number one sign that you're truly born again. You have departed from willful sin, okay? Let me highlight this, from willful sin. Because the Bible does say, if any man says he's without sin, he is a liar and the truth is not in him. So when I say willful sin, I mean, there's a difference between willful sin and you sinning unknowingly, okay? So willful sin is pretty much you giving over to sin. You don't have no conviction. You don't feel any need to repent. Um, you're making excuses to stay in the sin. So anyone who's truly born again has departed from their willful sin. Not to say that you're not going to struggle against the flesh, war against the flesh, um, make mistakes, fall short. I'm not saying that. I'm saying that you're no longer a slave to your sin because you have Christ who has freed you, breaking from the bondage of sin. So now you have the strength, the spiritual strength, the spirit of Christ in you. Okay, no one can say they're born again without having the spirit of Christ. Okay, so now that you have the spirit of Christ in you, through his spirit, you're not strong in the spirit, so you can fight against your sinful nature and your flesh. Okay, so that's the number one sign that you're born again. Y'all know when I make my signs, it's never really in order, but I feel like that's number one. It has to be. Okay, so the number one is you have departed from willful. So number two, I made this video, my last video I just made, uh talking about um what was the video I was talking about? I'll leave a, I'll leave a picture right here. I, I haven't been making so much video that I've been forgetting. But I was talking about how it's a renewed mind. When, you, when you're uh, born again, you now have a renewed mind as in you're no longer doing the things that you used to do. You're thinking differently. You're not, you're not, you don't have the high mindset where you're following the crowd. You're, you know, the blind lead, the blind. You now have a renewed mind that's centered around the truth, okay? The love of the truth is centered around the Bible, the scriptures, and you're no longer moving like everybody else, okay? So you have a renewed mind, man. That's the, no, that's the number two sign of being born again, okay? That talks about that in Romans chapter 12, verse 1 to 3. Okay, so number three, the number three sign is you have a new spirit and a new heart. Okay, Ezekiel ch uh, chapter twenty, uh, chapter thirty six, verse twenty six talks about how God will give you a new spirit and a new heart. Okay, so think about when like, before I was born again, I could definitely, uh, I could definitely see the new spirit I have within me because the old stuff I used to do, like I can't see myself doing some of the things I used to do. I just can't. And also, I have a, a, a loving heart now, so where I'm, I'm more of a giver. Uh, the old heart I had was more selfish, greedy, uh, no love, you know, just like using people. But now that I'm born again, I don't do that type of stuff no more. I'm actually the complete opposite. And looking back at the old me, I'm like, dang, I used to be, I used to be on that. I used to be darkness, man, complete darkness. Okay, so God will give you a new spirit and a new heart. Talks about this in Ezekiel chapter 36, verse 26. And I'll leave it somewhere on the screen too, so if you guys can read it. So that's the number, one, that's the number three sign that you are born again. Is God gives you the, the spirit and a new heart too, okay? Number four is you're going to possess the fruits of the spirit, okay? He talks about that in Galatians chapter 5. It's going to be love, joy, peace, long-suffering, which means patience. And you're going to be faith faithfulness, faithfulness to God, okay? Faithfulness to the truth and self-control, okay? So you're going to possess the fruits. Remember, by, the, by their fruits, you shall know them, okay? So when you're born again, you're going to produce... Let me put it right here. We're going to produce fruits, okay? Okay, and remember, by the, by, by the fruits, you shall know them, okay? Number five is you're going to have a new life, okay? It talks about this. Uh, if any man uh, be in Christ, he, uh, all old things become old and, th and the new things become new, okay? So I'll make sure I leave right here because I don't want to say that wrong. But when you, whenever you're uh, truly born again, like I was talking about earlier, the old things are gone, the old things are gone and done away with. And like, you're now, everything, your mind is being renewed. Your spirit, you have a new spirit, a new heart. And it's like a completely a new life. That's what being born again is all about, okay? It's no longer living for your flesh, living for your carnal desires, living for your worldly passions, living for yourself. It's no longer about yourself. And that's what the Bible talks about, how you have to deny yourself, pick up your cross daily. That's what being a born again is. Your mind is centered on that. It's centered on, you know, suffering, suffering for righteousness sake. Now, there are people who suffer for, you know, reaping what they sow, doing evil, doing bad, but you want to suffer for righteousness sake, you know, denying your flesh, because that's hard. People could say that some things in life are hard, but the hardest thing in life is to deny your flesh, you know, because our, 
our flesh is raging war against our spirit and our spirit is raging war against our flesh. That's why the Bible says, choose who you may serve. Okay, you got to either serve your either serve your flesh or your spirit, because if you're serving your flesh, your flesh is not going to rage war against your spirit. And when you're serving your spirit, your spirit is going to rage war against your flesh. So it's going to be a lot easier when you're in the spirit, when you're walking in the spirit to, you know, to combat and to fight against your flesh. But if you're if you're living in the flesh, it's going to be a lot harder to live in the spirit. So you can't serve two masters. You got to pick one. And the flesh equals death. The flesh is carnal, okay? And the spirit is life. The spirit is, you know, be, the walking, being born again, you know, not living in woeful sin, producing uh, fr uh, fruits, all this, all this, man, all of it, okay? So you have a new life, man. Okay, number six is uh, no longer in love with the world. This is so key, guys. No longer in love with this world, okay? This is this could have been number one because a lot of people say they're born again, they're born again, but they still have a soul tie. They still have a stronghold with the world, okay? When you're truly born again, this world, you hate this world. You can't even imagine how you used to love this world. The things that the world that has to offer, you don't care because you know that what God and the rewards that you have laid up for the kingdom for you, you know, doing the work of God, doing the will of God, it's way better than what this world has to offer. You understand, you have wisdom and knowledge to know that this world is passing away. These are the last days. You know, we got to store up our treasures in heaven. We're not going to store up our treasures on this earth that's rotten and going to pass away, you know, in due time. We have the mark of the beast rolling out, all these demonic agendas being pushed on this earth. So you're no longer going to be in love with this world. You're no longer going to want to be like these celebrities, uh, the people who sold their soul to saying, you don't you know, want to support them. No, you don't want to support the children of God. Okay, so... That's the number one thing, man. You're no longer in love with this world. You're not looking for clout. You're not looking for attention from the world. You're not, no more, that's done. That's done because you know that's vanity and it doesn't profit anything, okay? So I feel like this is, I feel like this is a stronghold with a lot of Christians in today's age is, you know, their love with the world, their love with the tension, the clout, uh, all vanity. Always remind yourself, if you're struggling with that, it's all vanity. It doesn't, doesn't add nothing to you, to your life. It only depresses you. When you live to impress other people, you live to make other people happy, you depress yourself. You make you, you you become sad by doing that. Okay, so always keep that in mind. You know, do not love this world because this world is passing away. It's completely, you know, especially in these last days, all the signs God's giving us that we're living in Sodom and Gomorrah, uh, that the sun is going to be uh, brought back to this earth to shed blood, you know, to destroy the wicked, to destroy the sinners, okay, to destroy the unbelievers. All the signs that he is showing us Okay, so we got to be getting right with God in these last days. We don't want to be lukewarm. Uh, we don't want to be double-minded, you know, where we want to serve our flesh and then serve the spirit, you know, pick, you know, every, it's like every other day, one day I'm going to serve the flesh, next day I'm serving the spirit. Now nah, you got to be all about this life. You got to be fully given in. Okay, so number seven is you have a new love for God. Okay, the old love you had for God was carnal, was going to church, you know, reading your Bible a couple times a week, even though you're not even applying it to your life. Um, you know, you're, you're carnal minded, uh, you know, going to church, you know, going to church, you know how, how it is going to church on Sundays, but you don't really know the Bible. You don't know the scriptures, but your new love for God, as I said, in the beginning of this video, okay. The Bible talks about this in one John chapter five, verse three, for this is a love of God that we keep his commandments. So your love for God is now centered around his word and what he requires you to do It's actions. Okay. God's old. When God says to love him, he wants actions. Even Christ told us, if you love me, you're going to keep my commandments, okay? So that's what it's all about, loving God with actions, what he says. So yeah, he, he, when God says he wants, uh, he, God shows you how to love him, right? And it's through the Bible. The word shows that if you love me, keep my commandments. So you're not going to make excuses, okay? You're not going to blame people or do none of that. You're going to just be about this walk. You're going to be about this life. 100% about the truth, okay? So you're going to have a new love for God. You're going to do what you're going to do whatever he wants you to do, okay? This, and it's all about humbling yourself. Remember, being humble I forgot to put this in uh, the, the first of the spirit, meekness, okay? Me, this is key, okay? Being a born again is meekness. You got to be willing to unlearn and relearn, okay? All the lies that the world taught you, um, these churches that weren't walking in the spirit and truth, um, you got to unlearn from all that and actually read and apply the Bible to yourself. Remember, study to show yourself approved so you can read it for yourself and what God requires in your life. Everyone has a purpose in their life and it's to do the will of God, do the will of the Father, okay? So these are seven signs you are born again. I hope you guys learned something from this video. If you made it this far, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel. I love you guys so much. I'm out. Peace.